Okay, while we're at it, my uh, other Honda filter, or the other Molly, I was asked to get a, uh, what was that, an AO2, and then also get the Denso, and also get a Molly. So I did the AO2, and I did the Denso. The Denso was by far superior than the, um, the AO2 from, uh, what was it, Fram Honeywell, and they're just, a, a packaged frame with the Honda name on it. So now I got a Molly, and you guys were asking me to show you a Molly. So I'm gonna cut this open real quick. Just by first glance, it looks like it has a really nice rubber O ring on it. Very nice, very plush. Uh, actually sticks out further than the, the standard blue AO, AO2. Um, what is that Honeywell frame? Yeah, it's got it jets out further on the end. Anyhow, and by the way, this is like seventy-two bucks. People have been asking me about this lately. It does have like a cutting blade that you would find to cut exhaust tubing and stuff on it. I got it on Amazon. Um, it's supposed to be like a billet style. It's really thick. They have replacement blades if you ever wear one out. Well, that's a nice can. I can already tell. When they cut open that quick like that and they don't fight you, Typically, it's a decent can design. Pretty strong can. One, two, three. It looks like I've got four full threads in here. So that's pretty impressive. And the actual thread part, it's pretty thick overall. It's got some nice weight to it for a small filter. It's a rubber drain back valve, anti drain back valve. It's pretty nice, pretty strong. Nice spring back to it. It's very thick actually, so it seems like it's a very strong rubber anti-drain bag valve. And then the filter itself, oh wow, no wonder why it popped out. It's actually got one of those heavier duty springs at the bottom of it instead of a cheap leaf spring. And they actually have a cup in the bottom for it to sit in and stay center. Stay center over the bottom of the filter. A lot of glue in this, a lot. They fill this sucker up all the way to the edge. Some people could say that's a little concerning because maybe it will restrict some flow. That material is hard. Looks like some kind of like synthetic blend filter media type. Wow. It's a very nice filter. Pretty strong bypass valve too. It's really hard to rip these pleats out of here. I think it's because it's so small. Come on. Okay, there we go. Extremely hard to get this out of here. Seems like it's very thick material too. It's a very nice, very nice filter. I don't know, I would have to say that I would, I would choose the Molly and the Denso probably equal. Um, they look like they're of similar design. The Denso looks like it is a little bit longer, like it has more filtering capability. But that Molly is, this is a nice filter. I mean, outside of flow testing it or anything like that, it has a lot of filtering media in it. 
The fact that it's so short though, I would probably only stick to no more than a 5,000 mile oil change on this. It seems like it is a very strong filter and they do. I'm impressed with this filter to be honest with you. Um, is it like wow or is it outstanding compared to anything else? No. Any standard typical mid-grade filter would be just as good as this, but the Fram Honeywell AO2 filter, I'll have to pass on that. This, uh, this is a very good filter, so that's my review on that, guys. Uh, quick, to the point, thank you. You asked for it, I'm giving it to you. Appreciate it. Real, real quick, the can, that's, that's a strong can. I mean, it's flexible, but I can tell whenever I go to start it may not be of concern to you. Some of you are not racers or don't run high oil pressure, but when I'm looking at like this cheap, this cheap can from Subaru that is a Fram basically with just a Subaru label on it. Um, this is a stronger housing, but again, length does play a factor because the shorter it is, the harder it's going to be because it doesn't have as much leverage. I would think, I think this, this here is just a little bit thicker than this Fram restamped Subaru, or Subaru stamped Fram. It's, it's just overall, it feels like just the metal in general. Maybe it's the same, who knows, but that's beside the point. I like this filter, it's a good quality filter, so if you run this filter, you get a thumbs up. That's decent, and coming from a manufacturer technician, I appreciate a filter like this.